Uh, let's pop that open here and... What? Are you kidding me? Hello YouTube, Komodo Gaming here, playing some more Jalopy. I want to first off thank you folks for all the support on the first episode. If you haven't checked it out, I will link it in the description. You guys were great about giving me advice and basically telling me what the heck I was doing wrong. So, we're ready to continue the next leg of our journey. We are in Dresden right now. Uh, let's check our supplies. So you get the scissor jack, you got a gas can, you got a crowbar. Now, I finally figured out what the crowbar was for, you guys said. It's for the boxes, or at least the boxes with locks on the road. Now, unfortunately, last episode, there was nothing on the road. There was no boxes, and it was really disappointing, because I, I need a bit of money. But I did make the investment in the crowbar, because I'm afraid that I'm going to find one of those locked boxes and be really disappointed when I can't open it. So, I think that's an okay investment. Now, where we need to go today, we need to find this checkpoint. Last time I was in Dresden, it was night, and I couldn't really see, and... Is that a, is that a red light? All right, green, okay. I don't know if you can get penalized in the game. Uh, I'm not going to take any chances, because we only have, like, maybe, like, 40-something dollars, or whatever their currency is here. So this is a CSFR checkpoint. This is going to start the next leg of our journey, so we're going to pull up in here, and... Hello, good sir. Papers, please. That was actually a game. That was kind of a fun game. Uh, let's see. Passport, passport. Th this one? Yeah, here you go. All right. Okay, let's see here. Okay, everything seems in order. That's good. One more thing. You must declare your route before we can allow passage. Okay, let's, uh, I think this is our map down here. Let's go ahead and grab it and see where we're going next. Uh, let's see. I'm not even going to attempt to say that name. Uh, we're going to go here and... Oh, these are some... These are some big routes. I don't think we can go quite 420 kilometers. Uh, I think I'm going to go ahead and go with Route 1. Even though all of them have rain except for the last one. But that one's got a gas station. And I have a feeling we would have to stop there. So we're going to take Route 1 here. And we should be good to go. Now you can already hear it raining. Oh boy. Alright, here we go. This is the first time we've been in rain conditions, so I'm kind of curious as to how the car handles it. It doesn't handle the dry roads very good, so, uh... Oh, uh, you can definitely feel it. There's a little bit of slip in the wheel. Okay. Question is, does it actually change the handling when you go into a tunnel like this? Uh, let's see. Oh, it kind of does. Alright, that's, uh, it's kind of neat. Oh, no, it still feels slick. Oh, oh, no, no, no. Hold on to it. Alright. I've got to keep my eyes peeled here. We need to find some boxes. Oh, it is so slick out on this road. Uh, nobody ever answered the question about the roundabout. Am I doing the roundabout right? I think I'm supposed to be in this right lane. Because if you're in the left, that is technically oncoming. And uh, Am I going the right way here? I'm a little confused. Uh, this does seem quite a bit different. Uh, we've got a little bit different scenery now. We've got fences. Uh, but I don't know if there's really anything else. Kind of curious as to where that gas station actually is. I really hope it's not at the end of the route. Oh, what's that? Hold on. There's something in the road here. You know what? I better investigate just in case it's something actually important. Nope, that's a pothole. That's that's just a pothole. All right, that was a waste of time. These road conditions are horrible. And what's that? You know, I think I've seen one of these before. That's like an off-road route. And I think that might be a little bit of a shortcut, possibly, but we do not have the tires to do that. Heck, we barely have the tires to even get up these hills. Uh, this is crazy. Wow, we really need some upgrades here. Uh, let's see. Okay, we're on a big bridge. I'm kind of curious as to what's on the other side here. Oh, we got a big hill. All right. Still keeping an eye out for some boxes, though. I'm really wanting to find some stuff here. Look at this, folks. Look at that. There's a box. We finally found a box. It's our first one. All right, let's uh, pull over here. Let's put on the hazards just in case we get hit in the rear. Yeah, we look clear. I haven't seen any cars on this route yet. I wonder if the, that says something. Uh, are we on a bit of a dangerous route here? Let's go ahead and grab this. Now, somebody told me that uh, we can pick this up and actually jump into the car with it, and it'll actually still stay on us. 
Uh, because I don't think will it fit back here. See, that's the problem. It will not fit back here in the back. So let's go ahead. If we get in, I believe that stays. No, it doesn't. Hold on, can I grab it now? Hold on. Let's go ahead and check this. Uh, I thought there was a way to do that. Let's go ahead and just pop this open and see what type of valuables we may or may not have in it. So, pop you open. There we go. What is this? Those, uh, it's coffee. You can sell for a dollar eighty. Okay. That's cool. How many of these can we stack in here? Let's just grab what we can here and uh, we'll sell this at the next store. Hopefully we can stack a lot of them. Oh yeah, this is good. Alright, that's okay. Hopefully we find some more stuff because that's not worth that much to us, but uh, it is a start as far as money. Uh, we'll probably sell it at the next gas station we find. Yep, that had to have been a shortcut. Uh, we went around a bridge and took a big loop and it looks like that off-road section just kind of cut through. Uh, I see a building up ahead. I'm hoping that's the gas station here. We still have a half a tank of uh, fuel here, but I would like to top it off. I don't think we'll need to fill up the uh, the fuel can in the back because we should be able to get the rest of the way, I would think, uh, on the gas that we get here. And, oh, what's this? There's a bridge. Can we, uh, no? Is that, is that going to miss the, uh, question is, is that going to miss the building? That is definitely a gas station. Question is, was that our exit? We might be popping a Yui here. Yeah, that was our exit. Let's go ahead. Uh, let's just pop it right around. Let's make our way to the gas station. We'll uh, see what kind of goods we can buy. All right, we are at the gas station here. Let's go ahead and fuel this bad boy back up. Uh, we might need to go buy some oil. Now, I really wish I could just had put that box just in the back of the car and not have to... Uh, <laughs> actually take all of it out, but my storage capacity is really bad in the car. So it's going to take a little bit for me to take everything in. I'm assuming I can sell it here, so let's go ahead and grab that. Uh, let's see. Coffee. There we go. And let's go in and see what kind of goods they've got for sale. Plus, I, I guess I have to pay for my gas. Um, here you go. Can you... I'm pretty sure you can buy these, so I, I have no need for these. So, there's those. That almost paid for all of our gas, by the way. Uh, how much are these? Yeah, let's pick up one of these real quick. And, ooh, they've got off-road tires here. How much are these? Uh, sell value of 20. They cost 50 a piece. Uh, what's this? Road tires? Wet tires. I really wish it had some of those. That would be really nice to have. Got a fuel can. What else do they have in here? Any other goods? That's probably it. Do they have a repair... Uh, I don't see anything to repair the car with. I don't think I need to fill the water tank up with uh, any of the bottled water. So let's go ahead and grab the rest of that coffee. Alright, here we go. That cost us a grand total of 20 cents. And we've got oil and we are ready to go on our next, or at least finish this leg of the journey. It is very nasty outside. It's night. It's raining. This is probably about the worst uh, situation possible for our driving, so... A little afraid of that. Let's go ahead and fill this thing up with uh, oil, and we will continue here. Uh, let's see. No, I, 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 drop the wallet. I don't need the wallet. There we go. Let's go ahead and put in. We've got the optimal mix, and we will throw this back. Now, I was a dumb dumb, and I didn't save the empty uh, oil bottle because I didn't realize you can actually sell those. Uh, somebody told me that in the comments. So we're going to definitely save that. I think there's a little bit left in there, too. So uh, let's go ahead and head off here, and try to hopefully make it to our destination oh man there are potholes all over this road they really need to uh oh oh that's not good oh great i guess we're going off-roading okay oh boy i did not know this was a section on this route hopefully we didn't get turned around back there it's normally fairly straightforward about where you're supposed to go and this thing will barely even stay on the road oh hopefully we don't damage our car too bad here we are doing a little bit of smoking, so definitely when we, when we get to our destination, we're going to have to go buy or hopefully find some sort of repair kit, and we'll do a little bit of work on the car. Uh, thankfully, that gas station trip cost me like 20 cents uh, by the time we were able to sell the rest of those uh, coffee packets. So I'm going to definitely still keep my eyes open for some sort of box because I need to make a little bit more moolah. Uh, we're in a downhill section. It's like we're on the side of a mountain here on a road that is crappy and it's raining oh come on turn turn oh boy oh boy hey what's that is that another box 
Oh, heck yes. Hopefully this is something good. Uh, this is a really unsafe spot. I, I pray there isn't any traffic here. Uh, because that could be very, very bad news. Uh, let's see. Oh, boy. Okay. Uh, we got a little box here. I think maybe this can fit in. Uh, is that the dust we created? Wow. Okay, let's go ahead and toss this in. And we just need to get off this road because this feels like a very, very dangerous spot to be sitting. But uh, definitely happy to find another box there. Hopefully there's something valuable in it. Oh, boy. I am so regretting Route 1. And Oh, look, another box. Hey, this box is kind of in the same position. And does that box have a lock on it? I believe it does. Uh, let's try to get a little bit... You know, there is not a safe position on this road. I'm having deja vu here. Like, this uh, just happened. It was like the same turn, too. All right, let's pop out here. We are actually going to need to use our tool. Uh, hopefully, you know, it's a box. It's locked. Hopefully, it's got something valuable in it. Can we just fit it in here? Uh, oh, we can. All right, we will open that up when we get into a safe spot. But that one does have a lock on it so we can now officially use our crowbar and now I'm really excited because there better be something good in it all right uh, let's try to get off this road here uh, I don't know I need to probably pop the hood and check the uh, the parts and how they're doing because we've been smoking for a while but I just really want to get to our destination and not die all right there appears to be a bridge up here or some sort of object and oh boy all right come on car we're gonna make it I'm hoping this bridge leads to the town that we're going to. And, uh, nope, that just looks like a bridge. Possibly there's train cars on it. Alright, that is a little bit disappointing. Uh, let's see. I'm seeing, it looks like maybe smokestacks back there. We've got to be close to something. We've been on the road for a while now. Uh, this has taken a little longer than I thought it was going to. And I really should have paid attention to when it said off-road section, because I guess the uh, off-road section's probably been about 75% of this journey. And uh, without those tires, this is no bueno. So, uh, hopefully we're coming up to something here soon. There's a... Oh, there's a train to the right. Okay, that does me no good. I need a... I need road. I need city. Uh, yeah, these are just train tracks. Oh, great. That sucks. Uh, yeah, there's still something over there to the left. Hopefully we'll get around to that. Oh, look at this! That looks like a city! And we've got pavement roads! Yes! All right, I believe we're actually gonna make it. Uh, oh, another roundabout here. But it looks like there's possibly buildings beyond this. And I cannot drive. Yeah, there's a reason I saw nobody on the roads back there. Obviously, that's a uh, that's a terrible route. But at least there was a gas station on the way, and I, I'm not really uh, sure about those routes with the question marks on them. Oh boy, we finally made it into town here. Okay, this is a uh, this is great. Is that green? Uh, it looks lime to me. It's it's kind of hard to see right now. Uh, that looks like it's going to be our next little border crossing, so we do not need to go there yet. We need to find... Okay, there's a motel, so that's good to know that we have that. I need to find a store in fast. All right, here we go. Found a store. It is time to open up the boxes in the back and see what the heck we have back there. Oh, I'm happy to make it here. This was actually a lot tougher journey than I thought it was going to be. Let's go ahead and kill the car, and let's check out what we have here in the back. Now, we're going to do this kind of in the order we found them. So, let's go ahead and go with this box first. Uh, you know what? I might as well do this in the store. I should probably turn those lights off. Hello, good sir. We are going to experience this together. I'm going to open whatever the heck's in here. Hopefully, it's nothing illegal. Uh, let's pop that open here, and... What? Are you kidding me? Who dumps a taped box on the side of the road? Which cruel soul would do that? No! Okay, that was a bust. Uh, let's hope that the box with the uh, lock on it has something. Oh boy, that is depressing. Uh, let's go ahead and grab that. You st stick that over there. Move out of my way. I need my crowbar. All right. Uh, oh, uh, how do we do this? Hold on. Oh, nope, nope. We're just dropping stuff now. All right, here we go. What's this? What's this? Is this? Those look like cigarettes. Okay. All right. That's uh. Hopefully these are worth a decent bit. Let's go ahead and throw that back in the car. And uh, can we just take the whole box? No, I have to grab them. Oh, there's only three of them. Oh, you know what? Those are worth about five fifty a piece. That's decent. But I'm still can't help but be disappointed. All right, ma'am. I'm here to sell off my cigarettes. 
No, at least that's gonna pay for our gas. Uh, let's go ahead and grab one more oil here. Uh, they don't have anything else that's really good for sale. I mean, they've got the tires that I would really like to have, but uh, yeah, we can't quite afford these. These are, what, 50? These down here are, I can hardly read that. Let me just grab one. Uh, 50. So, yeah, I don't, I ain't gonna be able to afford those. So, we'll have to stay on the tires where we have. Let's go ahead and buy water, too, just in case. Man, I cannot help but be really worried about the, uh, shape our parts are in and she didn't have a tool kit in there i'm gonna search that store out one more time but i am really worried uh maybe there's another store somewhere in town i really do hope there is because if not we might be in a bit of trouble here well there's nothing else of worth here in the city now the question is if i stay at the hotel and stay overnight do they actually maybe restock the store because I really am in desperate need for a repair kit and there really hasn't been an option to buy one. I, it would have been nice to at least find one maybe in a box or something, but uh, yeah, we saw that all that turned out. The only thing I found were smokes. So yep, we've made a loop here in the city. We're going to go ahead and drop off here at the hotel and stay overnight and we'll have to ponder what we're going to do next time because I am a little worried about what's going to happen here, so... Guess we're gonna pull off here. Uh, one good thing that we've been doing is the whole fact that we've been managing our money decently. Uh, this is gonna, of course, cost us money, but we haven't really had to pay for gas because that's paid for itself and the uh, basic oils and necessities. But yeah, I'm, I'm really concerned about the whole uh, toolbox situation. All right, yes, we are gonna stay with you. 20 for the room, here you go. You know what we're gonna do? We're gonna do a little bit of begging here. Let's go ahead and grab this room. I've seen this. Yeah, yeah, don't disturb guest. Uh, I'm going to. I need money. I'm desperate right now. So, uh, hello, 1A. Get out of here. Please go annoy someone else. No. Get out of here. Come on. Uh, come on. Somebody's got to bound to, like, feel sorry for me. Nope. Uh, what's this? Oh, nope, that's a door we can't go in. Okay, let's go upstairs. I still don't understand it. It, it rains in the, ho the motels here. Uh, it's a little scary. Okay, we're 2C, so... Anybody home? Come on. Please go annoy someone else. No. No. I'm trying to sleep here. Give me some money. Do something. Ah. I feel desperate here. I'm trying to sleep in here. I don't care. Money. Well, it seems like none of the guests like me. I've knocked on everybody's door, and I haven't got anything from them. Oh, well, uh, we're going to call it a night here. We'll try again in the morning. Uh, maybe we'll get a different result. Looks like the motel room's pretty much the same here. So, yeah, let's head to bed. Oh, boy, it's another day here. Probably about to wrap this episode up here. I'm going to knock on some doors again. I need some money. Please, please, give me something here. Somebody. Let's go ahead and knock on this one again. Uh, from what I've been told, they sometimes mistake you as the receptionist, and, uh, they'll, uh, slide some money under the door, and obviously I'm not getting those results. Uh, I'm a little disappointed here. Well, it doesn't look like we're getting money from anybody. That's, uh, disappointing. Yeah, thanks for staying with us. Yeah, whatever. Oh, boy. So, yeah, we're gonna have a little bit of deciding to do. We'll go stop by the store again on the, uh, next episode. That's probably not good that I left those, uh, windshield wipers on. Let's go ahead and turn those off. So yeah, we will next episode hopefully stop by the store. Maybe they'll have something. Because if not, I am a little worried about breaking down on the road. If you guys have any suggestions, comment below. Thank you guys for supporting this series and watching the videos. We will have more episodes of this out later this week. But anyways, folks, hope you have a good day. And we will see you guys next time on Jalopy.